was whoever this new guy was sitting next to Tiffany. Was this guy right here. Max Solomon is their there attorney. We believe strongly that mm. that meeting was improperly called oh. and improperly held. Ultimately, the mystery solved. It was a new lawyer. Now, if I know Tiffany, and I do know Tiffany, she ain't checked no credentials. It's probably still not confirmed whether or not this man is even an attorney. <laughs> now, Mr. Sir, if you are an attorney, don't get offended. Understand, the woman that you are now representing loves to hire people without background checks and not checking their histories. She don't check qualifications. This is how you qualify to work for Tiffany. Will you agree with her? Will you do her bidding? Bam, you hire. Yo, it's your girl J9Eve. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, get into the comments and let me know what you think about this. Tiffany Hanyard and her trustees were having a meeting, but those meetings were separate meetings. <laughs> the trustees were in one place, Tiffany was in another place. And something that I noticed and was making fun of that day when this happened was whoever this new guy was sitting next to Tiffany. I referred to him as Dolomite. Because he looked like he was from like the 70s. Like, like, check him out. Was this guy right here? This, this, this dude. He looked like he stepped out of the 70s. Does he not? Like, he looked like he looked like Dolomite <laughs> or the chef. Shut your mouth. I'm talking about chef. He just put me in the mind of that. I was curious as to who this guy was. So, and I, Figured we would find out, and so we did. We have. Well, we will. Well, you will. I just did. Okay. But um, yeah. So let's listen to this here. You know, news stuff. We're gonna get some insight. Okay. We're gonna get us a little bit of insight. Okay. The meeting. Village meetings tonight. One hell. Some new drama in Dalton. There were dueling village meetings tonight, mm -hmm. one held by Mayor Tiffany Henyard, yeah. the other by a, major a majority of Dalton trustees yes. in a separate location. And NBC5's Regina Waldrop is there reporting that the trustees tonight got a surprise visitor. Two agendas, two meetings in different locations. Uh -huh. It was a little confusing for some residents, but the meeting here at Village Hall canceled after a few minutes because they didn't have a quorum. In Dalton Monday night, competing village board meetings. I want to thank my two trustees, uh, Trustee Andrew Holmes and Trustee Stan Brown for showing up. At Village Hall, Mayor Tiffany Hanyard, two trustees and some department heads, the meeting canceled. As you can see, the board did not show up and these are the things that the residents are tired of. Um, when we sit here and we set a schedule to attend a board meeting, uh -huh. their jobs as Legislative to show up. Meanwhile, at Dalton's Field House, a majority of trustees and about two dozen residents. Yes. Then drama when Henyard shows up at that meeting. Just to be clear, since y'all were making all that noise, just to be crystal clear, I am here to appoint my police chief, my village. Which the judge had told her she can't do. But here she is, a day later. This was a day later saying basically you judge you can't tell me nothing <laughs> tiffany going to jail okay she going she going to get fined first by the court she's going to try to make the the village of dalton pay for that fine of course because you know because tiff tiff trustee jason house says the meeting was held at the field house due to ongoing capacity issues at village mm -hmm. hall the attorney general gave us a binding opinion that meetings over at village hall were not legal they violated the open meetings act a cook county judge has blocked appointments henyard made to three key village posts including police chief i'm gonna tell you the reason why she showed up i say this forever the reason she showed up to that other meeting it was because she really liked her outfit She's like, I'm not wasting my outfit, okay? I put this on. I can't rewear it. Look how bright pink it is. People are going to remember this, okay? <laughs> I need to, this needs to be seen by as many people. I need to use this. This outfit needs to be used, okay? And so she was like, I'm going to that other meeting, okay? That's why she done it. Tiffany is just that predictable in all the worst ways. <laughs> You're going to try to predict something that a Tiffany would do. If it sounds crazy, that's the answer, okay? That's, that's how you do it.
and village administrator. Those three were never presented to the board properly, meaning they should have, we should have gotten resumes, background checks. Mm -hmm. The next Dalton Village Board meeting happens October 21st. Mm -hmm. In Dalton tonight, I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. So let's hear who this guy was. Who was Dolomite? We're going to learn. We're going to learn together. For months, there is a new legal battle brewing mm -hmm. in Dalton between the mayor and some village trustees. Yeah. And to match the legal battle, of course, Tiffany has found another lawyer. She has found another lawyer. I wonder who he is. Peter Waldrop explains it has a lot to do with two meetings held earlier this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Regina. Two village board meetings, one held at Village Hall, one held at a park district. And now there's a lawsuit, and I talked to the attorneys for both sides. Competing village board meetings now at the center of a lawsuit. Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, trustees Andrew Holmes and Stan Brown say mm -hmm. this Monday night meeting at the park district was illegal. Max Solomon is their there attorney. We, go. we believe. And there he is, Max Solomon, apparently. Dolomite, Max Dolomite Solomon, okay? <laughs> Talking about Shaft, okay, sir, sir, where did she find you? Sir, I'm asking you a question. Where did she find you exactly? Where did she find these people? She just finds a new lawyer every three days. Tiffany finds a brand new lawyer. I want to know where she's finding these people. Like, like she, you know she met him in a restaurant. You know it. She definitely was sitting at a bar. If my brain has to tell the story, how it seemed like it happened, Tiffany and her buddies were sitting at a bar, allegedly spending the township's money or Dalton's money on drinks, okay, and, and hors d'oeuvres, and this man just happened to be sitting next to her. Now, if I know Tiffany, and I do know Tiffany, she ain't checked no credentials, <laughs> So unless this news anchor has checked the credentials, it's probably still not confirmed whether or not this man is even an attorney. <laughs> I would like to see some credentials. Now, Mr. Sir, if you are an attorney, don't get offended. Understand, the woman that you are now representing loves to hire people without background checks and not checking their histories. She don't check qualifications. Her, this is her. This is how you qualify to work for Tiffany. Will you back her up? Will you agree with her? Will you do her bidding? Bam. You're hired. Okay? So we don't, until we see some credentials, we don't have any reason to believe that you're even an actual attorney. And then what happened to the old attorneys? What happened to them? Where'd they go? What happened to that? <laughs> How many lawyers does this woman have? How many lawyers does she need? A lot. The answer to, I know I don't know why I said that. I knew the answer to that. She needs a lot of lawyers because she got a lot of lawsuits. And, and they're all about her. They're all her personal lawsuits, which means that you are what? Representing her in a personal capacity? Because if that's the case, why are you sitting up there in this meeting next to her? You are her personal counsel. There's nothing to do with the city business, okay? With the, with the village business. Yeah, but there's no reason for you to be sitting up there. That's like, literally like, you're, it's, it's the equivalent of her having her fucking hairstylist sitting up there next to her, okay? Or her wig stylist, okay? That's, it's, it's, she just sits anybody up there in these meetings and makes them just, they're now suddenly this authority. The last attorney that was there said all these things. Like he, he had a, literally, he did like a 20 minute speech about Tiffany. And how wrong everybody else is. And how right she is. It's weird. Where the hell is he? He was so confident in how competent she was. And now he's gone. Why? Did, did you ask yourself that, sir? Why the last attorney left? Tiffany is known to sink every ship around her. She's not going to sink alone, okay? She's going to drag everything with her, okay? I'm just saying. It's just my opinion, and I can have that, okay? All right, Shaft? Just talking about Shaft. <laughs> I believe strongly that mm -hmm. that meeting was improperly called oh. and improperly held. The residents of Dalton were confused. The meeting held at Village Hall that night canceled for a lack of a quorum. When Tiffany Hanyard showed up at the Park District, she got heckled. Why did she get heckled? Because she came in talking about, I'm the first black mayor. <laughs> I'm the first black woman youngest mayor. 
in pink okay like nobody asked her that she just came in stole this man's chair you know sat down and acted like she was just like oh i'm, I'm always here this is totally normal that's what she done okay said her little thing and then just bounced out the back didn't even wait for her home girl left her in there she had to come out on the other side of the building Trustee Jason House told NBC5 the meeting was held at the Park District because of Open Meeting Act violations. The village recently cited by the Attorney General's office for failing to make meetings convenient or open to the public. Mm. Residents have often complained about limited seating and barricades at those meetings. The mayor took steps uh, to correct those things uh, that the uh, Attorney General required. And so we believe that for that... No, we don't need her to correct, like, like take steps. We need her to fucking correct it. Pull down the goddamn combs, make it be in a place where it's supposed to be, where there's plenty of fucking space, okay? That's not her, oh, she's trying to, you know, do as much as she can. I bet if you threaten her with some jail time, I bet she'd miraculously be able to do all the things completely, exactly as the, as the judge asked. I bet it's always in those moments. It's always in those moments. Only once the handcuffs come out do people completely comply. <laughs> Soon as them handcuffs started dangling, everybody's like, I was oh, I was just going to leave. I was on my way. I was listening to you. But no, you was talking shit till these handcuffs came out. Okay, I told you to leave. I told you I was going to let you leave. You was going to be just free. But no, you wanted to keep talking shit. Now I dangle these handcuffs and now all of a sudden you want to comply. <laughs> That's what Tiffany needs. She needed just a bold face threats from the judge. This is what she need. She didn't say no. She don't do that. The judge gives her some instructions. This is what you need to do. She don't do that. Instead, she goes and she hires Shaft or someone whom I believe looks like Shaft. <laughs> he just, he just give me 70s vibes. You know what I'm saying? He, he just, that's what he given. Like if he had on a brown suit right now, y'all would know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. You would know. You you would get. You would feel me. The reason uh, the meeting was supposed to have been here, and if it wasn't going to be here, there were steps that could have been taken. The lawsuit is asking for Village like Hall what? to be named the primary place for village business, and that some of the business conducted at those meetings. Now, first of all, sir, what you ain't going to do is act like Tiffany don't know where that meeting was. You ain't going to do that. You you ain't going to do that. She always talking about they secret squirrel meetings. She's completely aware of where this meeting is at. Okay. Meetings outside of Village Hall since September 3rd be invalidated. And the people deserve to know where their meetings are going to be held. One meeting, where it's going to be held, and what's on the agenda. Bert Odelson represents a majority of trustees. He calls the lawsuit frivolous. This lawsuit, on top of all the other lawsuits, is a waste of the taxpayers' money. Odelson also says the trustees moved the meeting to the Park District to comply with the Attorney General's office. They've moved it to the park district where it's handicap accessible. 300 people can get in. Mm -hmm. There's parking. There's no problem. Yeah. Yep. There's entrances and exits all over the place. Okay. Plenty of doors to get in and out of. So when I asked Bert Odelson where the next Dalton Board of Trustees meeting will be held, he told me the Park District. Now, as for the lawsuit, no court dates have been filed just yet in this case, but definitely an interesting one that we will continue to follow. And Mary we know you will, Regina. This yep. has been the story that seems to keep on giving, I'll yep. tell you. Thank you. Tiffany went and hired a new attorney. I don't know what happened to the old attorney. Don't ask me, okay? I don't know what happened to the original attorney. Well, I do. They, I don't think they was getting paid. That's what happened. So, and if they wasn't getting paid, it's a pretty good chance that the other ones wouldn't get paid either. And then now here comes this guy whom is believing the hype. And of course, he ain't going to get paid either. Okay. <laughs> ain't none of them getting paid. But she done found somebody to come in here. He going he gonna to be cool on the clout for a little while. And then he, when he realizes how much time he's giving up for this little bit of clout and how he ain't getting paid, he's going to quit as well. Okay. And then later, once all this is done... You know, I I wonder if I think I think he might be able to write a book about it. <laughs> That's the trade off. You get to write a book about what happened. I represented the super mayor. It was terrible. <laughs> it's a it's a page turner. It is. So mystery solved. Ultimately, the mystery solved. It was a new lawyer. 
I it should have been easy to figure that out because of where he was sitting. Which is so strange because it used to be her administrator that used to sit right next to her. Now it's always some new attorney. But whatever, Tiffany, you know, do you gotta do what you gotta do? You know what I'm saying? At least, you know, yeah, while you're free. <laughs> you know, while you're free, you should be able to do whatever it is that 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 your heart desires, okay? You do you, babe. You do you, okay? But we can't hate on you for that, all right? Well, we can, and we will. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Y'all behave, all right? Because I'm not going to do it. Absolutely not. Just why bother trying? It's just not. It's pointless. It's a waste of time and space continuum, okay? But mama love you. Yes, she do. Ooh, peace. Let's <laughs> go.